Go, uh, 25, good, I'm relaxed. All right, folks, welcome to vlog two of Feck Days. Um, I have obviously started the journey of changing what I eat on a regular basis. It's not really a diet. Um, it's more cleaning up the food that I eat, something more obtainable, something that's not going to be like, you know, quick diet and lose weight fast. It's more to adjust what I eat and eat more, more healthy and feel better and hopefully lose weight along the way. You can now see my weight since the last time I weighed myself. I think it's roughly nine or 10 days since I last weighed myself and I've lost 900 grams, which I'm really happy about. At the start though, after the first week, I didn't lose a whole lot and I contacted uh, Tundi to explain to her and she says, I'd lost 100 grams or 150 grams and she'd explain to me, look, the important thing is you're changing your lifestyle and I had changed my lifestyle and I was following the instructions. I had one cheat meal, a pizza during that time, which I'm, uh, we've agreed that we can have one cheat meal a week. I'm going from a cheat meal tonight, which is a burger place, El Antojo, you would have seen, if you watch all my vlogs, you would have seen I did a vlog on this before and I did one with Lee as well. Um, so I'm going out tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I've upped my exercise and uh, I'm going to show you some of the boot camp that I do, um, a video of that, so check that out in this vlog. And uh, yeah, and that's really it. Um, I'm going to give Tundi a, a call today. I chatted to her during the week because I was concerned and she just obviously guided me in the right direction on portions and stuff like that. So I'm happy with it. It's going well. 900 grams down, feeling better, feeling like I'm eating cleaner. I did, I have to say though, I had one bad day during the week where I wasn't having a good day in most areas of my life and I just wasn't in a good mood. So I ended up, um, thanks to a couple of uh, viewers, I both brought me bars of dairy milk from Ireland, so thank you very much for that. But I ended up, I put it in the fridge there and I was like on oh, a bad mood and I went in and ate uh, eight squares of dairy milk. So I did cheat on that. But overall, 900 grams down and happy. So yeah, so enjoy the vlog. All right, so good morning. I'm here at boot camp. Uh, I'm not gonna train a lot today because I'm gonna show you a bit of what goes on. Plus I injured my ankle the other day, so it's a bit sore. Um, I'm gonna show you a bit of footage of what goes on here at boot camp. If you wanna do boot camp, it's definitely worth doing. Um, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. Steve does boot camp holidays. I'm gonna ask him to tell you a little bit about it in a little while, so uh, talk to you in a moment. A gentleman called Steve then the links in the description if you're good, looking for a good bit of exercise that's it I only did a quarter of that class and I'm already out of breath so yeah it's gonna take a while to get back to some decent fitness but I enjoyed that um, I'll let Steve tell you what the holidays are all about hi guys uh yeah the fitness holidays or the boot camp holidays are anything from one week to six weeks depending on what people want to gain from it uh we do weight loss holidays we can do building strength or we do self-defense holidays krav maga 
Um, it's an all-in package. We provide the accommodation, the private apartments for everybody, uh, three healthy meals every day. We've got a fantastic chef that can cater for any any conditions, any sort of vegan, vegetarian, whatever you want. Um, we train anywhere between three to maximum four or five hours a day. That is plenty for anybody. Um, and that's it, yeah guys, it's a mixture of training. We train on the beach every morning at half seven. We do pad training, we do kettlebells uh, and crab maga every single day. So yeah, the whole package is included. The only thing you have to add in is your own flights. Other than that, we cover the rest. Hopefully see you soon. Hi. What's the crack, Tundi, you all right? Yeah, how are you? Good, good, you're just being recorded now on, uh, on YouTube. So don't get don't 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 get self-conscious. Um, yeah, so I'm get, giving you a catch. Obviously, I was just saying to the guys that I've literally I spoke to you during the week. I was only a hundred grams, and now I'm just shy of a kilo, nine hundred grams down. I think it's. I'm trying to remember what day we started. I'll have to have a look at the calendar here. But I think it's roughly it was a Thursday. I started um, the whole thing. Uh, that I actually started cleaning yeah. up, which makes it uh, a week, nine days, nine days since I started. So that's a hundred yeah. grams a day, basically. So it's all right, it's all right. But it's as you said when we spoke the last time, and I was concerned about the weight, the, the weight loss. I wasn't happy that I hadn't lost a lot, and we're roughly about five, I think six days, seven days in, and. Um, as you were saying, you know, this isn't like a, a fad, quick diet, it's a lifestyle change. And, and yeah, I'm happy with 900 grams, I feel better. Um, I'm back doing more training as in doing the boot camps in the morning because it suits my lifestyle because then I don't have to worry about the rest of the day. But um, yeah, so tips for myself from here on, as in obviously I've lost 900 grams, just keep doing what I'm doing or um, yeah. I'm going out tonight to have a burger and chips, and I know it's red meat, but <laughs> it's it's a once-off. <laughs> it's fine. So first of all, well done because you're doing great. Um, I know that you were worried at the beginning, but you know your body does need time to adjust to what you were doing, and then it will slowly, slowly happen. Um, Remind you that you know normal weight loss is between 200 and 500 grams a week. You don't need to rush the process. You are building new habits, and here to go for burger tonight. You know when your lifestyle changing, when you are generally eating a healthy diet and you're going for exercise, it then doesn't matter that you're going out for dinner and you have a burger and chips. You know just enjoy it. Okay, so. Tips for next week, keep doing what you're doing. I know you need to increase your water, don't you? You need to drink more water yourself. Yeah, water is yeah, water is one of my biggest weaknesses, but I have been buying, like, I bought a load of uh, stacks of water, and I'm trying to keep an eye on it. These are one and a half litres. I'm definitely, I have to be drinking water, more water without being crude. I have been going to the bathroom a lot more than I normally would be, and I'm guessing <laughs> that's, because I'm drinking more water. Good, well done. And uh, just remi remember that we said that you're going to follow up a mainly vegetarian diet. So yeah. try not to have meat every day. So we said that you're fine with the tuna and the salmon and you're fine with the chicken. Yeah. But just try not to have it every day. So maybe just reduce that a little bit. Um, otherwise, just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. The, the other day, like you're back at training. I have to uh, confess something though. Uh, I had a bad day on Thursday, like a stressful day, and my head was not in a good place. And I was here in the office at eight o'clock. And I already said this a few minutes ago, thanks to two lovely uh, listeners or watchers, listeners, you can watch and listen, two lovely friends and followers of the channel. Both of them came in here with big bars of dairy milk for me, and uh, and and I put them in the fridge. And another lovely lad came in two days before that with a pack of muffins, and they're they're all in they're all in the fridge. I didn't touch the muffins, but on Thursday evening I was like, oh, I'm in a bad mood, and I went in there and I ate eight squares of dairy milk chocolate. So. Oh uh, well, next time when you got friends bring you chocolate, send them my way. <laughs> 
I, I don't know. I know they say sharing is caring, but I'm not sure I can share dairy milk chocolate all the way from Ireland. You know it's a lot different when it comes from Ireland than it is here in Spain. It's tasty. Well, I know that's why you're supposed to share it, listen. <laughs> so, yeah, so I, I had okay, to confess yeah. that. You see, it's one of those things, you are right at the beginning of this, and having chocolate at the beginning of this is okay. Remember, you're not competition prepping. If you are in the middle of a prep, I would say absolutely not. But, you have to start drinking and having a little bit of chocolate when you finish the full day. Okay. Okay? Uh, I think you've got to remember that um, you are need to plan a lifestyle change rather than a quick diet. So it is never near a strict, strict diet would be. So I will always say my mum as an example now, because due to certain conditions that she has, her diet is really, really strict. So remember when we talked a few days ago, I said, you know, she really wanted jam, she can't have jam. You know, what? if she really wanted to have chocolate, she can't have chocolate, you see. So you are at the stage when you're not start changing at the right time. Uh, you're doing great because you're still at the prevention phase, you know? You're preventing having certain conditions and that's the best way to go because once we're already ill, unfortunately our diet would have to be a lot more stricter. Happy days. So basically what you're saying to me, Tony, is I can go back and eat all the muffins and all the chocolate. But basically what I'm saying... I'm only joking, by the way. I'm going to come my way. <laughs> not your way. <laughs> As long as you're not having them every day, you know, just remember, it's not an everyday treat. You have it once a week, there's nothing wrong with it, okay. you know? Um, and, you know, you have found really good, now when it's sugar, sweets that you now have in the house. Um, and they're, they're absolutely fine, nothing wrong with it. So, enjoy tonight, have a burger, have chips, and any chocolate, send it my way. Happy days. Well, look, thank you very much, Tundi, and... Uh, we will uh, chat again uh, next week or during the week or maybe before if I send you more pictures of food. Can I eat this or can I not okay. eat this? And uh, yeah, appreciate yeah. Your, I appreciate your time. And guys, if you don't know Tundi, um, this is Tundi. She's guiding me through it. She is from, and I always get the name wrong, it's 365 Core Fitness. Am I right in saying it? 365, yes, it's Corfit365. Corfit365, yeah. three, Corfit guys. It's, if you're in Golf to Soar, drop in there. Um, I'm going to put the logo somewhere here. Um, so I will talk to you later. Um, so that's it. Nice one. So just in case any of you are asking, Sahar has decided she doesn't want to vlog um, her nutritional journey. Um, so it's just me. You're stuck with me. So... Uh, yeah, just in case you're wondering how Sahara's getting on. Hey folks, thanks for joining me on this vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing a bit of the boot camp. I um, hope you've enjoyed another bit of my journey of uh, my lifestyle change. I don't want to say diet because I'm just changing, trying to eat more healthy, um, eat on regular intervals. And to be honest with you, I'm really enjoying the journey and I'm looking forward to seeing how I get on in a week's time. Um, so guys, if you do like the content, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for further notifications. And I look forward to you seeing the rest of my journey. And um, guys, as always, keep it country, and if you get it, take it twice.